Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season three, episode six of Stranger Things. This time, the title of the episode is chapter six. What the fuck? E e pluribus unum. <laughs> what? I I I barely handle the English language, and what is this? Latin, what Russian, what is it? What does it mean? I don't know. But we're here, we're back, and we're ready for the final three episodes of season three. I'm very excited, very excited. I'm also very happy that I have been able to watch this season back to back, kinda. Um, because honestly, it does one, it deserves to be watched this way. And two, I have had so much fun, you know. Also, details are a lot more clear in my mind, which, you know, sometimes goes everywhere, my mind. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I mean, and everything seems to be connected. At least the Nancy theory with the rats uh, and Mrs. Druskoli? I don't know. Duracell? I don't know what the name of the old lady was, okay? But her... That story is connecting to the the fact that the uh this entity, you know, him is uh collecting people and building a fucking army, you know? And Billy is there as well. Heather, Tom and and the other blonde dude dissolve and you know it was disgusting to watch. And I don't know why Nancy... I still don't understand why Nancy and Jonathan... Maybe because they were hit in the head. Who knows? Decided to just wait and see what Pokemon was gonna come out of the merge of two body... I, I don't know, okay? But anyways, we're here, we're back, we're ready. And I hope you are here, ready as well, to watch me react to a new episode of... Stranger Things. So, hope you guys enjoy. Get a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted for some Patreon. In case you guys want to check that out, link as always will be in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting. And for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season three, episode six of Stranger Things. Here we go. Oh no. Shit. Oh my god. Shit indeed. Where are we going? Oh, hello. Scientists. What are we going to do? Oh, look at him! He's so strong! Oh, go, go! Oh my god! Oh my god! My children! Oh my god! Oh no, they have captured them! I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! Not run! I will be two blocks away by now. I don't even run, guys. I don't even run. I will be two blocks away from this place now. <laughs> Who cares? No, I will actually think about my brother. But it, still, we will be a block away. I swear God, this too. I don't know what the hell are they waiting. Why does that thing want Nancy, though, specifically? How is that even possible? Girl, you're about to die. I don't know how Jonathan is still standing. Go around it and open the door again. It doesn't have power yet. It doesn't. 
then, like it hasn't formed yet. Go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can go around it. I, Dio mio, you are dead. Jesus. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. You go, Eleven. Is it dead? Are you okay? Okay, you okay? ask later! Go! Disintegrated! I look at the bones, I dio mio! What a disgusting thing this is! It's time. Oh fuck, oh fuck! It's time. My bed is not ha <laughs> hammer time. Oh my god, I hate this with all my soul. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the mayor did say that they were gonna go big for f the Fourth of Ju July. Excuse me. What, what are you doing? What's what's this doing here? A what? Your stand. It's right in the main thoroughfare. Where do you want to sit? Over there with the rest of the goddamn food stalls. It is rocket science. Jeez, do I have to do everything myself? Yo, oh, the Terminator! I will find him. And when I do, may I suggest you bring some backup with you this time? <laughs> backup? Some comrades. Since last time he got the better of you. <gasps> really? <laughs> You wanna play with him? <laughs> Please. His Slurpee. He says it's strawberry. So what? Hawk, he did ask for a cherry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Is that a laughs> cherry? <laughs> you have it. And it doesn't matter because it all tastes the same, okay? No. It's sugar on ice. You tell him that. He's about to beat the crap out of him. I'm just giving him an opportunity. <laughs> His own. Jerry Slurpy. He's scared, not of us, of them. He's scared of that seven-foot-tall Russian freak who could have killed him just as easily as us. Smirov knows that if he runs back to his comrades without a scratch on him, they're gonna think that he spilled his guts. So whether he likes it or not, we are the best chance he's got. He's about to run away! 30 seconds before he comes knocking on that door. I, uh, believe he has started the car. <laughs> Hopper. Testing us. He's just calling my bluff. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper. Jim, move. <laughs> he escaped. Oh! He didn't. I'm sorry, what did he say? Yeah, what, what did he say? He says he likes strawberry too. Ah! Would well, you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that that actually worked. So all that shit you told me, Lucas was there? Yeah. Yeah. My brother, Lucas Charles Sinclair? Yes. <laughs> I don't believe you. Wait, so you believe everything about L and the gate and the demodogs and the mind player, but you question your brother's involvement? That's correct. <laughs> That's what siblings are for. No. So I'd estimate 10 miles back to the elevator, which should take us approximately 12 and a half days. Did you just do all of that in your head? Oh. I'm good with numbers. Holy shit. Good You're for a nerd. No, she's, <laughs> she's you not. You are a 
nerd. Okay, you better take that back, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, the but it's not the truth. All the pink in the world can't disguise the irrefutable fact that centaurs and castles and dragons and magic are all standard nerd tropes. Ergo, My Little Pony is nerdy. Ergo, <laughs> you, you, Erica, Erica <laughs> are a nerd. I you know so much about My Little Pony. Because I'm a nerd. A nerd. <laughs> Who do you work for? For the millionth time, I work at Scoops Ahoy! Scoops Ahoy. Oh, oh, leave him alone! Help. My child! Look at my outfit! You think I just wear this? I'm a spy in a sailor's uniform! Oh, leave him alone! How did you get in? I already told you. Whatever you guys want. Seriously, the USS Butterscotch, I mean, you gotta try it. It is out of this world, I'm telling you! Oh, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I like him too. Stop hitting him. <laughs> Who do you? Oh want? my god. My oh, poor baby. My poor, poor child. Oh, let him be. Oh god. <laughs> Steve? Steve, can you hear me? I think your friend need a doctor. I think so too! Oh. Good thing. We have the very best. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they laugh? Oh yes! You wanna talk about trust, really? After you made Eleven spy on us? Wait. What? Oh, she didn't tell you this? No. Your girlfriend used Elle's powers to spy on us. No, no, no. I did not make her. It was her idea. And why are we even talking about this? Seriously. Yeah, who cares? I care. Yeah. yeah I girlfriends <laughs> don't lie. They spy. We were just joking around. Wouldn't it have been so funny if I was taking a massive shit or something? You weren't. But what if I was? <laughs> no, seriously, Mike. I'm just trying to demonstrate how careless Max is with Eleven's powers. So can we please just come up with a new plan because I love her and I can't lose her again? Oh. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Nothing. 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 Mike just no, confessed that he loves you. Oh. <laughs> I found him. Uh, there were many of these uh, keys before in Russia, but they turned out wrong. That they had to come to where the where the uh where the what? I don't understand what he's saying. I thought you were fluent. Oh, I'm sorry. Are my free translation services not good enough for you? Because you can just go ahead and file your complaint right up my ass. <laughs> uh, fine. They're using this energy to break through a barrier to open a, a gate, a doorway between worlds. <gasps> God damn it! But it seems this key was only half the equation. He says it is opening. Oh God, that's why. That's Where are why. Where going? To call our children. Слушай, а можно посмотреть Луни Тунс? Не. Yeah. I will get you there. I will get you to your key. Он говорит, что покажет тебе где ключ, чтобы ты его выключил. He doesn't want to go back. You want to ask him what the hell's so funny about that? Что так смешно? Он смелый, прям как толстый Рэмбо. He says he likes your courage. You remind him of a <clears throat> fat Rambo. Breaking in is impossible. Yet the kids did it. Yeah, they they did it. Oh my God! Jackpot. 
Okay, so what? You're gonna destroy all of that? Easy with that. Our chance of surviving and theirs rises substantially. Just trust me on this. Please? Well, it is true. <laughs> it is true. They, they have to go up. Like, that's their best chance. Hey. Stop yelling. Okay. Okay, hop on three. I got you. All right. One, two, three. <gasps> okay, that worked. Okay. All right. right. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Oh, holy okay. shit. This yeah, is going to work. Close, okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ow. Ouch. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry, Robin. I don't think she's crying. <laughs> Are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Some people panic, you know. Mrs. Clickety Clackety. That's what us band bleeps called her. It was first period, Tuesdays and Thursdays, so you were always late. Oh. You always had the same breakfast: bacon, egg, and cheese on a sesame bagel. So you like I sat him? I behind you. Two days a week for a year. Maybe you could help me pass the class. Maybe instead of being here, I'd be on my way to college right now. And I would have no idea that there were evil Russians beneath our feet, and I would be happily flinging ice cream with some other schmuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, though, I liked being your schmuck. Aww. It was fun while it lasted. Aww. It I'm still not shipping them. I still very much like them as a friend, as friends, even though it feels like she just confessed her love for him. But no, she says like she was obsessed with him. Like she want, she wanted to be him or I don't think be with him. <sighs> oh, I don't like this doctor. Try telling the truth this time, yes? To make your visit to Dr. Zarkov less painful. Oh, ouch! Don't touch him! <laughs> wait a sec, wait. Hold on. Okay! Wait, 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 what is that thing? It will help you talk. Did you please touch me? Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If we go to Billy, then the rest of the flight know where we are. It's a trap, I agree. We'll be ambushed. We won't be surprised. We'll know that they're coming. And we will kick their flayed butts. No! Me and Al will kick their butts. True. I need you to trust me. <laughs> yeah. Just be careful. It's okay that he's worried, you know. Can you hear me? I want to see what happened. Oh, God. Something's wrong. Oh, shit. Well, it was a pretty traumatizing thing. What's going on? On a beach. Okay, I may be dense, but the last I checked, there weren't any beaches in Hawkins. But they are from California. What else do you see? Right? A woman. She's pretty. Okay. I, I think she's looking at. <laughs> is that Billy? Is that Billy and his mom? Listen, um, tell Owens that the Ruskies are opening the gate. Now he'll know what that means. Not about the Ruskies, but about the gate. Tell him that there's an entrance at Star Court Mall. I know how to get in. But I need backup, a lot of backup. Have him call me back here at 618-625-8313. <laughs> Your message will be relayed. Okay. 
Yes, hello. Uh, this is uh, Antique Chariot's partner. <laughs> Hero. I think Antique Chariot properly conveyed the urgency of our situation. <laughs> you do it. Can't just sit around and wait for a call. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to stay calm. No. Don't you dare patronize <laughs> me. I don't know who you are. If you're some glorified <laughs> But if you don't want to lose your job, here's what's going to happen. When I hang up, you're gonna get up off your ass and you're gonna go find Owen to tell him what's going on. We don't have time to talk about it, neither does he. He's gotta get to Hawkins and he's gotta bring his men right now. Do you understand me? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> and good day. <laughs> He's always very exactly polite, too. One minute, George. Honestly, I don't really feel anything. Do you? I mean, I, I feel fine. Were you injected too? Yeah, I, feel, I feel fine. I chopped so good. <laughs> you were injected you too? The secret? What? I like it too. <laughs> Moron, they messed up the drug. They messed it up. <laughs> Moron. Oh no, they're about to pull out teats. Oh. Would now be a good time to tell you that I don't like doctors. <laughs> Let's try this again. Yes? Uh. Oh, no! What is that shiny little toy? Whoa, whoa. Hey, see, hey! <gasps> no, wait! Oh, no, no! Oh, 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 oh. There was a call! There was a call! We heard a code! Code. What code? The week is long, the silver cat feeds when blue meets yellow in the west. Blah, blah, blah. You broadcast that story. Stupid spy shit all over town, and we picked it up on our cerebro, and we got <laughs> it in a day. He's probably calling Hopper, and Hopper's calling the U.S. Cavalry. <laughs> They're gonna come in here, command us, <laughs> and kick your sorry asses back to Russia. You're gonna be two pieces of toast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You don't know how much danger you are in. Is that so? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, they're laughing too. Oh shit. <laughs> oh! We love that just. Yes! Oh, holy fuck. Hey, Anderson, that's crazy. I was just talking about you. <laughs> Get ready to run. I don't think he's able to run, though. Hey! That's right, run like you always do! He's a terrible father, yeah. Abusive. That has to explain you the the state his mind is right now. I think I found it. The source. Where, El? Where are you? I'm born. Shit. Where are they? What the hell happened? Mike. Maybe you're Mike? not out? Mike! Mike! Maybe you're Mike! not out. He can't hear you. Oh my god. <gasps> now he, oh. You shouldn't have looked for me. You let us in. And now, Oh shit. David, where are you going? Don't you see? All this time we've been building it. <laughs> we've been building it for you. Oh my god. 
a lot all of people. Work, all that pain. All of it. For you. What do you mean for her? And we are going to end you. And when you are gone, we are going to end your friends. And then we are going to end everyone. Oh my god. It's getting bigger. Yeah, we're fucked. <clears throat> okay, guys, so that was the end of season three, episode six of Stranger Things. We are fucked. <laughs> we are royally fucked, you know? Uh, one thing that I do, I did like about this episode is the fact that this Russian evil man, you know, think they have created, you know, the perfect place, right? That no one will su suspect anything. Right? No one will suspect anything uh, because, you know, why will they? It's just a rural town, you know, nothing very much happens in Hawkins other than the missing kid, uh, you know, and, well, all the other things that we know about. Um, and they are like, no one can infiltrate our facility like that's just impossible but there you have two kids two young teens infiltrating set <laughs> um place by doing the bare minimum honestly what robin said about the the code they, they were transmitting and they were able to crack it in like a day you know um just gets to show you how you know, sometimes when you're in that position of power, you do believe yourself to be invis invisible. Invis no. Invincible. You know, and you think that you have it. You know, oh, it's so easy. You know what I mean? It's so easy, um, you know, to do all these evil things. Yes, granted, the U.S. Army, the ones that matter, don't seem to have a clue about what the uh, Russians are trying to do in their in their land. Uh, but these kids did knew how to get in and maybe they did not knew how to get out. Uh, but they were not expecting for that thing to be an elevator that moved and that t took them to that place. Everything did happen accidentally, you know. Uh, but they were able to infiltrate. They know what they are trying to do. You know, so it's just insane. Now, Eleven, this entire episode was trying to find the people, right? Trying to find them just so they can find the source to where the mind flyer is. And so because of that, uh, she found herself going to Billy and navigating his memories like kind of like what she did with her mom on the previous season so she does this she finds you know these memories are very tragic and like you kind of did understood why billy is the way he is because of the type of dad that he has someone who has been abusive someone who has you know uh beating him up and like turn him into you know, this this person that he is now, you know. Uh, so we see that and it's just it's just crazy and, and sad to see all of it. And the more you think about it, the more you feel like you need to save Billy. Because this isn't his fault. Like when I saw Heather crumble and her mom and, you know, and also the old lady, I was like, because I was holding hope that we could you know, save all these people. We're not going to be able to save 
any of them because I'm pretty sure that the reason why they were drinking all these things is was to make it easy for the mind flyer to kind of like disintegrate them and being able to consume them uh, in that way and make it a part of the monstrosity that he is, you know. Um, now, you know, before it was something that infected Will and it was this, you know, thing that lived on the other side that continues to live in the other side, but this part of uh, of him is now here and has... You know, decided, hey, I need a, a human, well, not human, well, just remains of humans and parts of rats, you know, to create it, to be something physical that we can fight against, right? Or for it to dominate and to kill and to consume and to expand, you know, um... But now they said that they they all they built this for her. I'm gonna guess that they see Eleven or he sees Eleven as you know as a threat because she is very much well you know yeah the one who created the gate, but then she is the one responsible for closing it down as well you know and all the de demo dogs and all of those you know uh, died because of what Eleven did. You know, so, um, yes, of course, she is, she is the main target, um, and I'm scared because, like, she could barely fight Billy, uh, she could barely, last time, close the gate, and now, you know, she is in this position of where that thing wants her, and how is she gonna fight this monster, you know? It's just insane and it's it's sad and it's just crazy and and scary, you know. And I'm 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 extremely ex scared for what is going to happen, you know. And and, and the whole fight between uh, Mike and Max and, and all of that, it's kind of like both of them are kind of being selfish um, with Eleven, you know, thinking that, you know. Yeah, I mean, Max is trying to give Eleven the opportunity for her to decide what to do. But what Mike is also doing is not so much of, like, you know, crazy to think. He wants to protect Eleven, right? Um, and and in his process of protecting Eleven, he doesn't want Eleven to risk her life. She doesn't want He doesn't want to lose her again, right? And she, he said he loves her. Um, so, um, because of that, she's, she, he's really not interested in Eleven putting her life at da in danger all the time. And Max is more of like, hey, she could do whatever she wants, and granted she can, but there's someone, there needs to be someone in your life who is not willing to lose you, and that is Mike, you know, um... So yeah, I understand why they're fighting and bickering and all of that, but at the end of the day, I think that they both care about Eleven and they don't want her to get hurt, but Mike is a bit a bit more protective of her because he's in love with her. Not that Max is not protective of her, but Max knows that Eleven can handle herself, right? She has superpowers and all of this, but, you know, at the same time... Uh, does she knows her, her her limits? Sometimes she doesn't because she sometimes and oftentimes she puts herself in front of danger just to protect her friends, you know, and that's who Eleven is. Um, and Mike doesn't want to relieve that, you know. Um, so anyways, Steve is in the other side in this place that is trying to open the door and um, and he is, you know, not doing well. I hate that they beat the crap out of him every single fucking season, you know. Because why the, the need? He is just perfect and he's good and he's always, yeah, he gets himself in trouble. But, you know, oh, I hate when things like that happen to Steve. It's just so bad and evil and, like, I, I, I just love Steve so much, you know. And then Robin... You might say she kind of confessed her feelings for Steve, but I don't think she did. I think she 
admires him. And I think that what she liked about him is the fact that he was popular, you know, and he was, you know, um, and that she kind of regrets that they were not friends back then. I don't know. You might call it a love confession. I don't want to call it that. <laughs> Why? Because I, I honestly, I will love for them to be besties rather than in a relationship. You know, everybody's in a relationship. We don't need this. We don't need more of this, you know. So for them to, to be friends, I think that will be a lot better than, you know, just, just, a relation I don't know I don't know anyway so but yeah they had a really cute moment that I wasn't expecting um or wanted but there it was and you know um I'm glad that they are together uh in this moment and that they can now hopefully escape uh I did like the fact that uh Dustin kind of figure out that Erica is also a nerd um and I like that. <laughs> she's just cute. She's cute. I don't know. She's cute and like sassy and all that. So yeah, I like her a lot. Um, but anyways, uh, what else happened uh, on the episode? Well, lots of things happen. Um, Alex, Alexi, right? Is that his name? That's how you pronounce his name. Alexi or Alexi or Alexi. I don't know. Uh, he is... Um, telling things because Hopper had the the idea that he's not gonna, going to run away. Why? Because Russians are going to believe that he has been compromised, right? That he has been talking and so they're not going to believe. And honestly, he it might be afraid of, of, of them because like last doctor that, you know, didn't give, you know, good results end up, ended up dead, you know? So... He might want to rely on Hop and, uh, thank you for that, Hop and, you know, uh, stay away from, from, from the Russians because they probably, once he is back, they're probably going to kill him, you know? So he started talking, he started saying about the machine and of course, you know, Joyce and Hop know what he's talking about, you know, they needed the location. I mean, they were doing these experiments in Russia, but it was like, you know, trying to break a, a very, very big and like thick door. But here at Hawkins, the uh, door, right, was healing. So it's a little bit thinner. And so they can actually and successfully open it here rather than in other places, because it has been open once before. So that's what they're trying to do, which is something that we kind of knew, right? Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, that is happening with Joyce. Then the kids are now going to try to face this thing at the fair. Uh, we still have the Terminator somewhere around. Um, and yeah, I mean, everything is going back to the origin, the, 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 the place where all this started. I do feel terrible for Billy. I really hope Billy doesn't need to die. But I don't see that there that good things are happening to him, to be honest. Which which is terrible, you know. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully nothing. Well, I mean, I, I don't think there are good chances of him getting out of this alive, you know. Um, but protect Steve. Do not harm, harm Steve more than you did already and let him be, okay? That's that's all I want <laughs> for the team. Dustin, Hopper, uh, Hopper, I mean, Dustin, Robin, Steve, and Erica, who are, I feel, the ones that are in most immediate danger, right? And then you have the other, the other kids also that are going into a fight and they, they are not even armed or anything. So I don't know what, how the hell we're going to fight that beast. You know, I, I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. But God damn it, next episode is going to be insane. And the season finale is going to be even crazier. So I don't know. I'm ready. And I hope you guys are ready as well. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon. 
in case you guys want to check that out link as always will be in the description down below we can talk about everything related to stranger things on the comment section down below by the time you're watching this on youtube i'm already done with season four so it, it's okay if you spoil it if you're on patreon don't spoil anything but if you are on youtube go ahead because like i have probably already watched season four so that's it i hope you guys enjoy hope you guys like it and that's it without that's it that's it i don't know i was gonna um, do my intro but no that's it thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for stranger things that's it Mwah. bye guys